Wednesday, I want to show you all how to do chair yoga. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, we're going to all be on our chair and you can bring a strap and I can show you how to stretch your legs and, and your whole body on the chair. I hope that this will uh, energize you and allow you to stretch and increase your circulation. First of all, we're just going to do some warm up. So inhale, bring your hands up. And we're just going to stretch to the side. Exhale back to center. Inhale, exhale to the side. Then inhale again. We're just gonna exhale, bend, and just gonna swoop a little bit. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg. If you're on a chair, you can just extend your hand out. Just do some breast strokes. Just do some gentle, gentle stretch there. And then we're just gonna squat. Okay, we're just gonna do some squatting, and this will allow your muscles to engage more so that you can get a little bit more energy. Don't forget to breathe. And on Sunday, actually I was, I had posted this poll about uh, exercising on a weekend. And so I think the majority of people are okay with Sunday. So now we're gonna switch, but notice I'm just gonna kick my leg here. <laughs> yeah, so I think Sunday at 9 a.m. I like to host a uh, 45 minute workout, but just more intense. Cause right now we're doing more stretching, gentle yoga, but on the Sunday, I'd like to eventually use some weights do some abdominal exercises. And uh, yeah, I used to, we am gonna raise our legs, some knee ups. I used to teach yoga Pilates actually. So it's a combination of yoga and Pilates at the gym. And so I'd like to bring that in eventually too. Just so yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we're not just doing stretching, but we're working like our whole body. So I'd like to do that. Yeah, so as you stand, or you can, you can go side to side, I'd like you to bring your arms up, okay? But, not flinging it, but really toning it. So you're bringing it up to your shoulder level, a little bit higher, maybe to your eye level. Okay, so that's something, you know, during the day when you're working at your desk, you can stand up or sit, sit back and turn from the desk and just do that. And you'll notice it brings more circulation to your head, to your chest, you're, you know, you're, you're bringing it up. And that's good because it's gonna help with dilating your vessels, bringing more nutrients to the rest of your body. Yeah, and just bring your hands up. So yeah, I just wanted to show you just these simple, simple moves for you to do, you know, during the day to just increase your circulation. So we're gonna stretch. We're gonna be doing this just to warm up our wrists, stretch both uh, wrists, bring it back, stretch our joints, our shoulders. Uh, bring your elbows in and rotate and then to the side as well and after this i'm just going to move to the mat and yeah. here we go so you can see this all right so let's start off uh, in a seated position with our ankles centered again take a deep breath in and with your right hand bring it to the floor and just stretch it out. Inhale, both hands up, left hand down, and stretching it out. When you do that, feel your hip, the right hip kind of go downward too. We're gonna try this again. Inhale and exhale, stretching all the way to your fingertips and then the hip also grounding down to the mat. Inhale, both hands up and exhale. When you do that, just empty out your breath here. Inhale, both hands up, and now we're just going to turn to one side. So the left hand on the right knee, just do a gentle twist, looking the opposite direction. And just looking behind a little bit, and work with your breath. So inhale, up, release, like expand when you're inhaling, and then exhale, turn. Just squeeze that air out. Just squeezing the stale air from your lungs. Do it one more time. Inhale, expanding your lungs. And exhale, squeezing the air out. And one last time, inhale. And exhale. So we're just gonna go into table pose. And on table pose, you're just gonna put your wrists right under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Look up and bring your belly down. 
So here you can even look to your right and shift your hip to the right. So I don't know if you can try that motion and then shift to the left. So you're basically moving your hips so it's closer to your head, just giving that little bit of a stretch on your lower hip and your lower, your, your waistline here. Inhale, look up, belly down and exhale. Push your belly button up toward the sky. If you're sitting down, you can also round your back by uh, expanding your chest out, looking up and then exhale and rounding your back, going back to the chair, rounding your, your belly button toward the chair. Now inhale, bring your right leg forward and just do a gentle twist, looking up at your thumb, relaxing your throat and your jaw. And if that hurts, you could just, you know, lower your gaze a bit. And then as you exhale, I'd like you to put your hand down, but on the inside of the foot. So it looks something like this. So basically you're on the inside and you're, you're kind of, your elbow is kind of pressing against the leg, just to expand. And then the leg is pressing against the elbow, just to expand it a little bit, opening up the hip. But as you press toward it, you're actually creating a little bit of resistance. And as you exhale, back on both knees, left leg, frontward, and you do a gentle twist up. You can look at your thumb, and then bring your hand to the inside of the knee, if you can, and just press into it, and the knee pressing back into your elbow as well. So you're going back to table pose, and just going to child pose for a moment. The stretching out, bringing your forehead down. And now we're just gonna go back to seated where I'm gonna use the strap. Or if you don't have a strap, it's okay too. But basically you can bring the strap over to your foot, extending your right foot out and your left knee bent. You can move over there and just pull or you can also release that and massage your leg. So you sit a lot and it's nice to just bring some attention to your leg and to massage it and bring the circulation upward. So using both hands, one on each side of the foot, you can draw little circles with your palm and your fingers and just bring it upward. And even if you're sitting down, you can do the same thing. Go down below the knee and then basically move in circles. And right underneath the knee, there are some lymph nodes there too. And you can massage underneath the knee it's a great way to move the liquids around. And again, you can go back to your stretch after. Inhale and exhale. And just relax into the stretch. Um, yeah, this is a, one great way for you to notice any part of your body that you generally don't look at. Like if there's discoloration, if there's bumps, if there's any bruises, things like that. It's, it's good to notice these things. Um, and then slowly bring your leg back in and let's go with the opposite side. So your left leg is extended out. You can bring your strap if you like. One way I really like to do this is just extending upward and then turning and folding over. Uh, again, rotating, massaging your leg from your ankle all the way upward. Um, focusing a little bit more under the knee would be nice and, and it's a nice feeling too just to like massage this area and bring some heat to it and then you can bring your strap around your foot and just uh, extend your stretch a little bit deeper and enjoy that and take a deep breath and exhale and now slowly we're just going to go back down to the mat and as we, before we do that, you can keep your knees bent and we're just gonna place both of um, the strap underneath our, our feet. And we're gonna go upward and you can expand out sort of into a V, into a V shape and just hold it there for a moment. And press into the strap, taking a deep breath in and exhaling, uh, bringing it closer. So one leg at a time. Bring your right leg up and over. You can micro bend your knee if you like. Just press into the strap. 
and then you can hold the strap with your right hand, both of them together, and just open up. And if you want, you can look at the opposite side or just stay neutral on the mat. But sometimes it helps to balance out the other side and place your hand there as you extend your leg out. And then bend your knee into your chest and just hug it in for a bit. Pressing downward, relaxing your shoulders and your chest. Take a deep breath and relax. I'm just gonna change to the left foot, bringing the strap under the foot and pressing into it. You can curl your toes a little bit so your the ball of your foot is pressed upward to the sky. Just hold on, extending it with every breath. Inhale, expand your chest, and exhale, soften your body. Now with your left hand, you can grab both parts of the strap and just bring your left leg outward to wherever you're comfortable. And just allow it to stretch out. You can micro bend your knee if you like, or if you're comfortable, press into the strap. Just feel that stretch. Just opening up your hip. One more breath. Now gently bend your knee into your chest. You can let go of your strap. Just hold it in. And release out. And there's just one more thing I'd like you to do before we go into Shavasana. Um, so if you bend your knees and you lift, it's a bridge pose where you lift your hips and you basically use your right and left shoulder to kind of crawl back a little bit and extend your hips up so that you can actually interfold your fingers underneath. Now, if this is too tough, you don't really need to bring your shoulders together to do that. You can just lift it gently. But this is a really nice chest opener just before Shavasana. So can you bring you basically open up your chest and when you relax your whole body, your shoulders are already very open. So they kind of touch the mat and relax more into the mat. And now what I'd like you to do is um, when you when you place your both hands on the floor, palms are up. Now feel your thumb. And then bring your pinky up to the ceiling. So you're basically turning outward. Your palms are turning outward. So you're just outer rotating your shoulder and then just gently flop down. So you see how by opening it up like that, by turning your wrists and outer rotating your shoulders, you're opening up your chest more. So when you finally relax, your middle knuckle should be touching the ground. Then you just relax your palms. Let me take a deep breath. Just relax your whole body, allowing it to grow heavy. Starting with your feet. And every part of your body that's touching the ground, allow it to go deeper. And just surrender into those points. Soften your belly, your chest, your knuckles, your throat. You can slightly open your jaw. Just relax your eyes, your cheeks. Just bring your breath into any part of the body that needs releasing. So if there's any tension, bring your breath there to expand it.
with your breath in. I'm just gonna bring both knees to your chest. And what I'd like you to do is cross your right leg over your left to make a, a upside down four. And just hug your left leg toward your body. So that you can imagine bringing your hands through this hole where the number four is and then just bringing the leg toward you. Bringing your elbow to the bent knee, the right leg. Open it up a little bit. And then release and just cross over the left leg, over the right. Do the same thing. You can bring one hand to the left of the right leg, one hand to the right of the right leg, and just hug it in to your chest. And slowly release and bring both knees over to one side. Just enjoy the release. Releasing all thoughts and judgment, releasing all tension. And when you're ready, you can press downward and sit up with your ankles centered. We're just gonna do a very short guided meditation, um, bringing your heart centered, your hands to the center of your heart. Take a deep breath in, and then bring your hands up to the sky and exhale. And then you can just gently rest your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath. And as you root toward the earth, imagine your spine has roots, like the root of a tree, and it's going toward the center of the earth. You're just rooting really, really downward into Mother Earth. And you're being grounded, but you're also sensing this uh, sensation of support from the earth that you're provided for, that you're nourished with, and that you're protected with. Now draw that energy from the center of the earth as if you're a plug, plugging right into the heart of the earth and you're drawing that energy up toward your spine, up into your heart, all the way to your eyes. And let that energy grow, grow inside and open up the crown of your head. Imagine at the crown of the head, there's a flower sitting there. It could be a lotus or whatever is your favorite flower and imagine it blossoming, just opening it up into the light and the light is pouring right through from the crown of your head all the way through. Just allow that energy to heal you, to give you light and love and compassion. And whatever ancestors, angels, spirits that are friendly, that are loving, allow them to protect you, to form a thick auric shield, to shield your body, to shield your mind, to shield your emotions. And take a deep breath, just invoke a sense of gratitude, a sense of truth and love. And we're just gonna bring our palms up again, one more time, inhale, look up, wiggle your fingers and then exhale both hands um, on our ankle rounding your back inhale chest out and exhale rounding your back again one last time thank you so much everyone namaste thank you so much Suji. thank you thank, thank you, you.